I've been to the garage, I've got myself a barrel and I've got myself a grinder. These are these tiny little one mil thick car um, carborundum discs. They cut really quickly, really easily. And I've also got this wire brush attachment, which also fits to the mini grinder. They work incredibly well. I'm not over keen on burning the paint off barrels. I mean, uh, uh, apart from the pollution it puts into the air, it's pretty toxic. It burns up an awful lot of fuel as well. So I prefer to use these wire brushes. It's not um, a five minute job. I mean, it takes about an hour to be honest with you. And it's quite hard work, but I just prefer this method. So we're gonna have a go. I'm not actually gonna film me cutting um, the barrel out at all because um, the YouTube police got a bit fed up with me last time I put something similar on and I had to take it off. So we'll just, um, we'll come back to a barrel once it's already been cut. Okay, so there you go. I've cut out the top, I've cut out the bottom and I've cut out the front, which is 10 inch by 20 inch to allow us the same size as the outside of our mini vortex stove. This is my J-Tube rocket stove. It works really, really well. I've had it for quite a few years now. Um, it's a great device. I've just lit it because we're having a few people around tonight. And um, it just bursts into life straight away. It produces high temperatures within, I mean, within 10 minutes of lighting it. You, you're getting right up to near 800 degrees Fahrenheit on top. I mean, it's an awesome stove. But anyhow, I think I can take the barrel out and leave my mass and my chimney in place and replace it with a new barrel for the mini vortex stove. And there we go. I've taken the old barrel out and I've brought a new barrel in. The old barrels, it's a few years old now. It's quite interesting. It's got a stainless steel tube that runs through it, which so I use as an oven. We we'll take a quick look at the J-tube while I've got the barrel out. Basically, it's got a ceramic fiber and burn tunnel and a, and a vermiculite firebox. So I've got the little vortex stove in position. It's just roughly placed in position, sitting on a few fire bricks. It's very easy to do. So I've got a fire going. Unfortunately, I've only got these really smoky fire lighters at the moment, and they do produce a lot of smoke. I must get those old cardboard ones I had before. Anyhow, it's a light, it's working. I'll we'll have a quick look outside, and unfortunately, yes, we have got smoke straight away. I'm not too concerned, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. So we've got a fire going. I'm not sure if that looks good or bad. I mean, I literally just lit it. I mean, it's, it seems to be working all right. I've got a right mixture of wood in there. Shouldn't make much difference. We'll just have to see. Um, we'll let it run for 10 minutes and see what happens. So, yeah, okay. So the fire has been running for about 10 minutes and it's not looking good. It's starting to smoke everywhere. I, I, I think it's got something to do with... The, 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 it's, simple, it's not enough... It's not open enough... For the smoke to escape it's under too much pressure and it has to travel too far and it's causing a lot of back pressure and there's smoke coming out of all sorts of little holes and orifices everywhere i mean it's an absolute disaster my whole party house is filling up with smoke at the moment i mean if you look into the vortex slot you can see that there's so much back pressure the flames that just can't even go up into the, you know the upper chamber well that was obviously a, a complete disaster I mean, I can see what happened. I mean, the fire simply hasn't got enough power. It's, it, it just can't fill a little vortex slot, which is pretty small. It just can't contend against the pressure inside the barrel. It's got too far to travel down the barrel into that mass and out the chimney. So, I mean, the way to rectify that is to reduce the resistance. So, you know, we're just going to brave up to what happened and have another go at it and see if I can sort it out. So um, just keep watching and see what happens next time.